welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we're just doing a quick short on the newest perfume from Sisley. This is the Igia La Nuit. And I always say Izia, but apparently it's Izia. I actually went to one of the Sisley Zoom master classes about this. So I have a little information to share about it. Now, first off, I'd like to say that I don't like to blind buy perfumes, so I got a sample of this first. Now, if you contact Sisley, they'll say they don't have samples, or at least they did for me. But after you get off with customer service, they give you a code for CS2021, and that includes a sample. So I ended up getting a sample of Ija La Nuit, and I love it. So then I went ahead and I ordered a bigger version. Now it does come in three sizes and I have the largest size for the reg regular Asia and I couldn't decide. This one is a little bit more expensive than the regular Asia, but I mean, look at this bottle. Isn't that beautiful? So you've got this black glass with the gold accents here. And these, you know, can symbolize like pebbles or some people also call them flower petals. And going through the masterclass, they actually refer to them both ways. And this cap is meant to be like a, a pebble as well, you know, like a river, ro river rock type thing. So this is the package. This is the medium size. So this one is 1.6 ounces or 50 milliliters. Now, when I purchased this from the website, I'm not sure if they're still doing this, but they were also including a free purse size spray in your purchase. So this is the purse spray that I have as well. So we'll have all purchasing information for this down below. And after I ordered this, I was actually introduced to a Sicily representative at the Las Vegas boutique. And you may be able to contact her for samples. I haven't asked her if she has any or not, but I will leave her contact information down below as well. She is incredibly helpful. And if you have any questions on any of the products, she's always very happy to swatch them and she includes a ton of samples. So I will have her information down below in the description box. So on to the actual perfume. Now, Igia and Igia La Nuit are both rose scented perfumes, which are my favorite. Now for reference, my favorite rose perfume has always been the Stella perfume that's no longer made. I really liked the original. They did come up with some different versions of it, uh, you know, after the original, and I preferred the original over those, but that one's no longer there. The regular Igia is the one that I have essentially replaced that with. It's my daily perfume. And it's a rose scented perfume that, you know, there's a little bit of musk in there and there are some, there's like pink pepper and I think maybe some, some amber in there as well. So it's kind of like a musky rose scent to it, but again, it's very light, it's airy, and it's one that I like to use on a daily basis. Now, Igia La Nuit is essentially supposed to be a more sensual version of the Igia La Nuit. Now, both of these perfumes are centered around this rose that flowers once a year in Isabel Dornano's garden. And Isabel Dornano, she is the creator of Sicily. So they have, you know, this gorgeous, gorgeous home. And in her garden, she has this rare rose, which is what this perfume is centered around. So that's gonna be a major note in both of them. Now I have to say with Igia La Nuit, when I first smelled it, I was like, hmm, this, this isn't what I was expecting. I was expecting like a deeper version of Igia and you know, it, there are some leathery notes to it. There's vanilla, there are different like fruity scents, like Mandarin is in there, which is another one of my favorites and I think bergamot, so, and you've got like vanilla. So you've got all of these different complex scents that sounded really pretty. And when I first smelled it, it smelled a little spicy, um, a little bit more of those leathery notes were coming out. So I sprayed it on myself and for about 10 minutes or so, it smelled kind of like spicy and leathery. And it, it was a nice scent, but it wasn't what I was looking for. 
after about 10 to 15 minutes, that scent completely transformed. So if you try this out, definitely leave it on for a little while to really see. And it turned into this beautiful, wonderful, fruity scent. It's like a fruity rose scent, which I absolutely love. So the way this perfume smells on me after about 10 to 15 minutes is now my favorite scent. I absolutely love it. Now I have to say as for longevity for both Ijia and Ijia Lanui, they don't last all day on me. You know, these are things that you are going to want to freshen up throughout the day if you want to keep smelling it. And so I would say, you know, I usually get about six hours or so where I can really smell it. But if, if I go up, like now if I go, it's been six hours since I applied it. So if I go and I sniff my wrist, you know, I can still smell it, but it's not something I would notice. You know, it's very faint. So just something to note there. And another thing I wanted to mention is that masterclass that I attended, they gave some recommendations as to application for these perfumes. And one of the things that I have apparently always done wrong is I like to spray it and then I rub it. And you're not supposed to do that. That actually crushes some of the, the scents in the perfume. So you're supposed to spray it and let it dry. So don't do that. You know, the other thing that I like to do is, you know, spray it in the air and then walk into the mist. That is actually something that's recommended. It helps get on your clothes. They also recommend if you are somebody who wears scarves, spray your scarf, put that on, and that scent will keep renewing throughout the day, you know, as you smell that. And another tip and trick that they recommend it is spray it in the air and then run your hairbrush through it. And then you can use that to brush your hair and you'll have a little scent in there and you're not getting any you're not damaging your hair at all because all the alcohol will like evaporate and not damage your hair. So just some tips and tricks that they had on applying it, making the scent last a little bit longer for you. So if you are looking for all day wear, the number one tip from that would be making sure that your clothes are scented with it. So let's talk a little bit about the journey of the perfume. Igia La Nuit was designed to show growth essentially. So there is this gorgeous, you know, movie or commercial essentially that they created to kind of showcase the stages that you see with this perfume. And it's kind of reminiscent to me of the change that the scent actually has on my skin as it reacts with my skin chemistry. So there are five different stages that they were focusing on and there's falling in love, wonder, growth, peace, and forever change. And the way that perfume changes as you're wearing it and it just becomes like a little softer, fruitier, then you smell a little bit more of the rose over time. It's kind of showing some progression, not only through the scent, but it's also supposed to evoke those emotions in you. So that's just some stuff that I wanted to share with you about the perfume. If you've been curious about it, if you like rose scents, this is definitely one I would recommend trying out. And again, I always recommend getting a sample first. So if you're placing an order from Sisley, again, use the CS2021 code to get a sample of that with your order. Otherwise, contact Leanne Summers. I have her information down below and see if she can provide you with a sample for the perfume. And that's it. So hopefully this was helpful. I really love this scent. And if you're looking for something fruity and rose scented still, again, the base is rose you know, I think this is a really great option. And of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful bottle here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, I am not a perfume expert by any means, but I did want to share my opinion on this because I know it's really hard for people to be able to smell some of the new scents that have been coming out with everything that's going on right now. So I hope this was helpful. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.